What's going on, everybody? Well, it's that time. Today was the day I decided to try to go vegetarian and see how that makes my stomach feel, my body feel. And I'm going to try to do it till the end of the month. So today's the 10th. We probably got 20 more days. So I'm going vegetarian for 20 days. And I'm going to do my best. But I just got finished shopping for the groceries online. Boy, my inflection went up there. Shopping for the groceries online. And I'm going to show you my haul and everything I got. But please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe button. And my camera work will be off. Please consider becoming a member of this channel if you enjoy the content and you want to live my little adventures of living in a studio apartment, a little bit lonely, uh, a little bit depressed, a lot of anxiety and fears, <laughs> and just trying to live the simple life away from drama. Please become a member if you'd like to get early and exclusive content. I do have merchandise available in hopes of any acting career coming back, but who knows what the future holds. I don't. I'm just thankful to be alive. But that being said, um, for the people that want to comment on my grocery haul, please have some empathy. Um, I don't always know what to order. I'm testing everything out. I'm doing everything for the first time trying to go vegetarian for like 21 days, see if it helps me feel better. And I'm sure I got things that are possibly processed and a lot of sodium and other things like that. I, I, I don't know, but we're going to try this together. So let me turn this around and, and go through my complete haul. All right, so here it is, my entire month haul of food that I believe is pretty much vegetarian and this is all I'm gonna eat for the next 20 days so let's start off with some of the good things they didn't have any brown rice they were out of it so I ended up picking up two bags of white rice I know I can do better brown rice is much better I get it I'll pick some up later from another store and I'll tell you the story of the store later. Um, I got some beans. I got some black beans, pinto beans, some red beans, green beans to make like Chinese type stir fries. Got some lettuce, two things of romaine lettuce. Can't really see it, but it's a cucumber. Got a couple of bags of the mini peppers to put in stir fries and in rice and all that. Got some of this uh, celery so I can snack with it, maybe with hummus. They didn't have hummus, but um, I could have peanut butter with it and stuff like that. Then I got some bananas. Hopefully they're not rubbery like the TikTok trend. Got some shredded carrots. Got some cabbage coleslaw. Got some mushrooms to replace the meat, maybe in quesadillas or in the stir fries, got some broccoli. Uh, got a bunch of tomatoes, cause I love tomatoes. I like to make bruschetta and stuff like that. I bought a big bag of potatoes, probably seven or eight pounds. Um, and I love potatoes. I, I wanna make potato tacos. You get it, replace the meat with the potato tacos. Potato toilet tacos for all you people wanting to make fun of me. Uh, then I got some sourdough bread, and again, there might be too much carbs here, and I might have to figure that out, but I'm definitely going to find out if I have a gluten allergy or something going on. I uh, bought some flour tortillas, big ones, burrito size for some quesadillas with vegetables. So here's like a Mexican cheese blend. Got the little corn tacos. This is gluten-free. That's a good thing. Um, got some of that. You can maybe see it. Got some Skippy. Maybe I'll pick it up. Got some Skippy creamy peanut butter for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or stuff on celery. Bought some mixed nuts. It has a lot of sodium and salt. I do know that. Um, got some grape jelly. 
for the peanut butter that is processed. I know it. But um, I also got, because I have pancake mix, it's still left over. Got some blueberries. I should have got more fruit, but the store was out of so many things. I'll explain that in a little bit. I got some lime juice. Um, and now for the condiments, got mustard. Doesn't have any sodium or sugars. Mustard's a pretty good condiment to use. And then I got some of this sweet chili sauce from Moy Ploy to make like a Chinese type food. Then this chili garlic sauce to put on rice and stuff like that and on the stir fries and the vegetables. Um, now I got some avocado or guacamole. Has little tomatoes in it. You know, so I can put that on rice or in a in a quesadilla or whatever I'm trying to make. And then I did get this half fake butter. Um, they didn't have any real butter. But I got that one. Also got a couple of whole kernel sweet corns. I know it has a lot of sodium in it. I do know that. And I'm learning all about it. Bought a couple of top ramens. But it says shrimp flavored. So that is meat. So that wouldn't be considered vegetarian. So I'm definitely not going to use the flavoring packet from that. I'm not going to use it at all. I'll flavor it with maybe this thing, the ginger paste. I wanted ginger, but I don't have a cutting utensil for fresh ginger at the moment. Um, but I'll flavor it with something different, the ramen or the noodles. And then because they didn't have vegetables or a lot of vegetables at the store, and I'll explain why in a little bit, I picked up a naked green machine. This has a lot of vegetables and fruits and stuff like that um, as well. So that's something good fruit-wise for me. Then in a replacement of meat, I picked up these soy chorizos. It has a lot of sodium, I'm sure. Like I said, I'm still learning about all that stuff. But um, I can put this with the potatoes. And I can make like little potato tacos with the flavoring of soy chorizo. Because it is a vegetarian food. See, vegetarian, no cholesterol. And I bought about three or four of those. Um, and then also for my coffee, my decaffeinated coffee, I bought some Arm Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla. Uh, unsweetened almond breeze to give a little flavoring to my coffees and I also bought these regular tortilla chips uh, so I can eat with the guacamole or you know maybe I could put some cheese on it and make nachos with some of the vegetables and all the other stuff uh, I do have a uh, one gallon of milk in the refrigerator I forgot to show that, but I'm not going to open up my refrigerator right now. But here it is. Here's my haul for the next two weeks. Um, let me know some of the meals you would make out of what you see in front of you. Please let me know some of the recipes or the meals you would make with what you see. I mean, I can do the nuts and the bananas. I can do the banana and the peanut butter on... Should have bought some raisins, but they were out of everything. But I tried to do something good, and let's see how it works. And I'll definitely take a picture of every meal I make vegetarian. But I don't know if it's perfect or not. But there it is. There's my haul. It's my vegetarian haul and start to this world. I don't know if it'll last forever, but I'm definitely going to be able to test out some foods and replacing them and... I do know I gotta I gotta learn the sodium content. Oh, I forgot to show the oatmeal. I forgot to show the oatmeal. I also got an oatmeal, and I don't think I showed this in the video. I got some pasta box, and um, yeah. So it is what it is. I'm sure I didn't do a perfect job. Everybody's gonna have complaints, but let me know some recipes that you think I can make with the stuff that I got. And I know some people, oh, I also got, I didn't even show it, I got eggs. I got eggs and milk in the refrigerator. I got a carton of 18 eggs and milk and a one-gallon milk. 
I know a lot of people say you shouldn't do the eggs or you should just do the egg whites, and I get that. Um, I was looking for egg whites, but the store didn't have any. It said probably out of stock. And then um, it was also like $11 for like a little thing of egg whites. I think it was called egg beaters or something like that. Like, I don't know. Um, so there's a few things that I wanted that I couldn't get. So I just got regular eggs. Um, and so I have eggs and milk in the fridge. And that's pretty much it. So that's my haul. Let me know some recipes you guys would make with what you saw in front of you. And I found out something today while I was shopping online. Okay, so I was trying to shop at Smart and Final. And uh, what happened is apparently I ordered like 14 things from Smart and Final, you know, like in bulk, in bigger bulk. And when the person started shopping, oh, we're out of, they're out of this. They don't have this. They don't have that. They don't have this. Then they sent me pictures, and there's nothing in the shelves. And I'm like, wow. Like, so at the end of the day, out of the 14 products that I ordered from that store, she only brought like four or five. And I'm like, wow. So I knew I was going to shop at another store. That I call it the Mexican store the superior groceries because um, you can get better vegetables and stuff like that sometimes at the Mexican store. Uh, so, but I knew I was going to shop at another store. So I'm like, all right. So they brought me what they did from the smart and final store. And then, um, then I did. Oh, then I, I asked the person that delivered the food. I was like, why did they, why were they out of everything? And she said, Oh, I don't know something about a strike. And all the, the bus drivers quit. Okay. So long story short, I bought everything else from the Mexican store. And then right after I brought everything inside and set it all up, I real quickly went online to look like about bus drivers quitting at the Smart and Final. Well, apparently a couple of weeks ago, they went on strike for better wages or this or that. They went on strike right before July 4th. And... I can imagine people trying to buy food for July 4th. And I was like, wow, they were out of a lot of things, you know, um, like cheese-wise, egg-wise, uh, stuff like that. And I'm like, well. so I decided to call them up. I called up the local store, and I, I got a hold of somebody, and I'm like, hey, uh, are you guys still out of a lot of items? Because I bought some food earlier, and... You know, why are you guys out of so many items? She's like, yeah, we're out of produce and stuff like that. And, and, and dairy. And I go, yeah, it was like dairy and, and eggs. He goes, yeah, we're out of that. And then just quickly, I go, what about the meats? Like the, the like turkey burgers? What were the, oh, the veg, vegetable burgers I was looking to buy? The impossible meats or whatever they call them. That's what I was looking to buy as well, the impossible meats. And they didn't have them. And I was like, well, what about the meats and the, you know, the veggie burgers and the impossible meat? He goes, oh, yeah, all of that produce. I go, that's produce? Isn't that called meats or something? He goes, all that stuff in the grocery aisle. He's like, we're really out of it. We don't have anything. And I go, you don't have no drivers delivering? He goes, no, not right now, not really. And he's like, we're really struggling. I was like, oh, so that's what I found out about the Smart and Final store. So that's why some of the items that I wanted were missing. And... um. I'm probably going to have to do a third shop because I wanted to get raisins I forgot, uh, of brown rice. I wanted brown rice instead of really white rice. And um, there was a couple other things that I wanted that I wasn't able to get. But I'll settle all this stuff in, and then maybe I'll pick up all that other stuff, you know, on another day. But for now, I'm very blessed to have food in my life, in my fridge. I'm humble enough to say that whether people want to make fun of me or not, you know, for, for getting EBT and getting help from um, the powers that be, go F yourself, okay? Again, I'm in, I'm in one of those places because a lot of people make fun of me and I see their videos. I'm just in a really, like, anxiety-filled place. But I'm still, I'm going to try to be as honest with you guys as I can about my real life. Again, I'm not proud 
I mean, I am proud of everything I have. But am I proud of where my life is? I thought I'd be married. I, I thought I, I would have had a house, uh, maybe kids, maybe more money, maybe acting a little bit more. So I'm not proud of the way or the where I'm at, but I'm proud of my life. I'm proud that I got a roof, I got food, I got you guys supporting. There's a lot of people that don't even have as much as, as I do. And I will forever understand that and be humble. Because there's times in my life where I literally could have been homeless or never had anything if it wasn't for all of you supporting me or my family or God or somebody just helping me out, you know, or me getting on my feet and, and doing, doing something to make my life better. But now with age, it gets really harder to like go out and get up every day and go work because I'm not really used to it and I don't want that for my life. And I've already made a decision that I got to make this work. You know, my job needs to be from home. Or, you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? I, I don't want to get into it. Because so many people will be like, get off your lazy butt. You do that. Do that. Do. I've already made the choice. My life needs to be like on YouTube or maybe acting or through home. I can't travel. I can't go to a place every day for eight, nine hours. I can't do it. My health, I can't do it. So until I get that squared away, I can't bet. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, please, with empathy and love and respect, don't blame me or make fun of what I picked up or if I did something wrong. You know, because we don't understand through text exactly what you mean by it. Use some kind words. If there's something I can do better, just say, hey, you know, you might think about this next time, and I appreciate that, and this would be good for you, and, and love you, and God bless you. And those are the way you talk to people and you give criticism. That's the way you do it. You do it with some respect, understanding that some people are insecure, and they don't take criticism correctly all the time, and I'm one of those people. But that being said, I'm really humbled and I'm really blessed and thank you all. Um, and follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. And when I make some of these meals, I might not make a video for each one, but I'll take a picture of it and share it with you guys to let you know I made a vegetarian meal. Um, and if some of you guys got some good recipe ideas for the for the foods you saw, let me know. And um, maybe I can do that for you. I appreciate that. I really do. All right, for now, I'm going to say I love you all. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I hope you enjoyed today's haul or unique video. And, yeah, I love you. Try to be happy in a world full of chaos.